weird I noticed that you were so excited when we were still in class. Sounds like you won the lottery. Tell me, what is it that gives you so much joy like that? I am happy because my mom's younger brother, who has lived abroad for several years, will be back today. You know that he took care of me and my mother when my father abandoned us. He is everything to me. Oh great. Of course, I am eagerly awaiting its arrival. I can already imagine all the gifts he will give you. I don't care what gifts he'll bring. There are more interesting things than that. Like what, for example? As soon as he arrives, he will do all the papers for me so that I can go live with him abroad so that I can continue my studies. I really don't know if I will finish my school year in this country. You are very lucky. I would so love to be in your shoes. So take advantage of your uncle. Thank you so much now I have to go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. I am very happy with the arrival of my little brother. Can't wait to see him again after all these years. Now I have to pick him up at the airport. I have to hurry because I would also like to go to the airport with my mother to be able to greet my uncle. Oh, I see my son. But why is he running? I hope he won't tell me that he would like to take him to the airport. Good evening, Mom. Are you all right, boy? Yes, Mom. But why were you running like that? Mom, I started running because I would like to tell you that I would also like to go to the airport with you to greet uncle. But no, son, you just left school. Go home eat and rest. You'll see your uncle as soon as we get home. Okay, Mom. I will talk to you later. See you later, Mom. I am sure that my little brother would also be very happy to see me again after all these years. Have a nice arrival, my brother. Thanks, big sister. Really, I am very happy to see you again after all these years. Same as me. So where's my little nephew? He is at home. He can't wait to see you again. I too can't wait to see him again. Let's go. Big sister it is this car that you continue to use. Let's go. Of course, my brother it's my little gem. Ever since you bought it for me, I've taken care of it like a baby. You are so much fun. I think it's time for you to change it. Now that I'm here, I'm going to buy you another car before leaving because I think it will break down soon. Thanks in advance, my beloved little brother. Oh, my big sister, you deserve more than that. I can't wait to see my nephew's reaction as soon as he sees me. I'm sure he'll jump for joy when he sees you. Mom went to pick up uncle at the airport for a while. But why are they not there yet? I am losing my patience. Can't wait to see the gifts he brought me. There we are, there we are. Great. Great there there. Hi Leonard. Have a nice arrival uncle. Thank you. I am very happy to see you again too. You've grown so much. So Leo, you still continue to work well at school? Yes, uncle, you know. We have just finished the second term exams and I am still top of my class. Great, that's great. So uncle, did you bring me the books I asked for? Yes Leo, I brought you the books and many other gifts. Wow, it is very good. Can't wait to see all the things you brought me back. You know what, big boy? Now that I am here, we are going to take all the necessary steps so that you can continue your studies abroad. I will do everything I can to go with you. You know, uncle, and I'm really running out of words to thank you. You are the best. Personally, I like children who work well. I am very proud of you. You can rely on me in everything. Thanks a lot, uncle. Now we're going to unpack your gifts. Alright. As I told you neighbor, 
My little brother who lived abroad had just arrived. Today. Aw oh, this is great. I would like to get to know him. Don't worry, he'll come say hello to you later. Okay, I'll be waiting eagerly. You know, he just told me he was going to buy me a new car. Oh good. Yes, I also think that my son will return with him to continue his studies abroad. Wow! I see that there are a lot of good things happening in your life. Of course neighbor, as the good things come into my life, I will keep you informed. Alright. Well, I've talked enough. See you later. Finally, I will be able to meet this famous generous brother. Today, I would see this brother who living abroad kept sending money and gifts to his relatives. I will do a few things before I meet him. I hope he is sitting well spiritually, otherwise, he will just take a mystical stray bullet and it will be his own fault. So uncle, how do you like what I've worn? It's perfectly fine. I'm going to show it to mom too. Go on my big boy. I love seeing the joy on this boy's face. I really don't understand why his dad left him. Anyway, as long as I am alive, I will never stop taking care of him. He's like a little brother to me. So mom, how do you like what I've worn? It's wonderful. Uncle brought them to you. Yes, mom, please, mom, can I go see my friend Marco? For what? I just want to ask him something. Yes, son, but please hurry up and come home quickly. Okay, mom. Now that I am at home, I am going to enjoy life before returning. Besides, I would go see the girl I met on social media a few months ago to spend quality time with her. So, little brother, are you done settling in? Not really, I stopped for the moment because I have to go to an extremely important appointment. Oh good. With who do you have this appointment? In fact, before coming, I met a woman on social media. And so, we made an appointment to see each other today. Besides, if I leave now, it will not be until tomorrow morning that I will return. Alright. But before you leave, I want you to meet my neighbor. But no big sister, I don't know him. I don't need to see it. Please, small brother, do it for me. Okay, I will see him to get to know him. Great. That's very nice of you. I see someone coming up to me. I'm sure the famous little brother. I have everything set up already. I'm just waiting for him to get a lot closer to me so I can put a spell on him. Hi sir. Hi young man. But what are you doing to me like that? It's my way of greeting people. Oh okay. How are you? You know I am aware of the help you give to your sister and her son all the time. You are really very generous. Thank you very much, sir. But tell me, what do you do for a living? I am an aeronautical engineer. In addition to that, I have developed other businesses. Congratulations. Thank you. I really like the way you took care of your sister and her son. Go on like that. Okay, sir. Goodbye. Okay, my dear. Mission accomplished. In a few hours, we'll be talking about this young man in the past. So you got to know each other? Yes, but I still think your neighbor is a bit strange. Oh what, do you think so? Oh yes, my sister, because his way of greeting me was a bit suspicious. Alright. Otherwise, he is the only one with whom I get along very well in this neighborhood. Okay I have headaches. I am extremely tired. I think it was the trip that made you tired. You should really rest a bit. My big sister. I would not like to deceive this girl. I have to keep my word. I am leaving now. Say hello to this girl for me and enjoy. Thank you so much. Leonard, you are so lucky to have an uncle like that. The outfit you've been wearing is very pretty. Oh, thanks a lot, Marco. You know, he brought me lots of other things. He had also just confirmed to me that I was going to leave with him. Are you sure? Obviously, my uncle is a man of word. 
It always keeps its promises. I am sure that I will not end the year with you. You know, I put all my trust and hope in him. My destiny is in his hands. You have grace. Enjoy. I am happy for you. Thank you. Now I have to go home. Remember to drop by my house whenever you want so I can give you some gifts that he brought me. Great! Really? I didn't know you looked so beautiful in real life. Thank you. You know, I booked the hotel like you asked. We are going to have a great time together. I would like us to go to this hotel now. Alright, let's go. It seems that the spell I cast on this young man did not work because normally I should already be hearing screams and cries. If that didn't work, I would have to start all over again. But what do you have? I don't feel well. I am very, very tired. That's what you've been telling me since we got here. You're really starting to freak me out. I think it's because of the trip that I'm so tired. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do because I have to go home. It is not possible. I have specially prepared myself for you and you want to leave me like this and leave. Don't get mad. I'll call you back tomorrow. All right. I will send you a bank transfer as soon as I get home. Okay, thank you. I don't understand what's happening to me anymore. It is absolutely necessary that I go to the hospital to be consulted urgently. As I tell you and mom, I would like to give some gifts that uncle brought me to my friend. You have to show me everything first before you give. Alright. But who is calling me? Is me. I would like to tell you that I am in the hospital. In fact, I was on my date with the girl I told you about. And suddenly I started feeling really bad and having headaches. So, I decided to come to the hospital urgently to be consulted. I had just started incantations again. Now, I will go find out more at the neighbor's house to find out a little more about what's going on there. Oh my son. I have to go to the hospital quickly to see my small brother because he is not feeling well. But what's wrong with uncle? Don't worry, son. He's just tired from the trip. Can I go to the hospital? No. I will be back later. Be wise. All right. Neighbors, did you need something? Yes. What do you want? The thing had just escaped me. It's a good thing you're here, you know. My little brother had just informed me that he was in the hospital. Oh, what did he do there? For now I have absolutely no idea what is happening to him. I would go and assist him a little bit at the hospital. You know what, neighbor? I would really like to go with you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Neighbor, that would make me very happy. So can we going? All right. So doctor, what did the tests reveal? Sir, the analyses showed nothing unusual. You are doing very well. It is not possible. I feel really bad about myself. My whole body hurts extremely badly and I also have excruciating headaches. For now, we're going to keep you here and give you some painkillers. And as soon as you feel better, you will go home. All right. What is happening to you? My heart hurts. It's hard for me to breathe. Please, doctor, save me because my heart is breaking out. Don't worry, I'll get the oxygen in for you. All right. I hope nothing bad is going to happen to your brother. I hope so too. If anything ever happened to him, I would be screwed, me and my son, because he really is everything to us. What is happening to this patient is not natural. Despite all the sedatives he had just been given, he is still complaining about the excruciating pain. I will go see him again. I hope really nothing bad is happening to my uncle, because my destiny is in his hands. I rely on him a lot, and I know that I would be nothing without him. As I was telling you, madam, your brother complained so much about excruciating pains until he had just had a cardiac arrest. My colleagues are resuscitating him. Please, doctor, promise me that his heart will start working again. Oh, have courage, madam. We will do our best to save your brother. 
Now I have to let you. All right, doctor. I know that this little one will not survive because what is happening to him is spiritual. So what did the doctor tell you? My little brother had a cardiac arrest. They are currently resuscitating him. Let nothing bad happen to him, because he had just returned to this country after several years spent in the West. I wish you that too, neighbor. Marco, my uncle is currently in the hospital. Wow! I think that what is happening to your uncle is not normal at all because as soon as he arrived in this country, he is already in the hospital. My friend, I think you should pray because what is happening is very serious. 0, zero 21 28 15.9 So doctor, you called me earlier. How is my small brother is doing? I am sorry to tell you that your little brother was not able to survive. No, no it is not true. My little brother can't leave like that. Courage, madam. That it is a good mission accomplished. That's what I wanted to hear. The donor's little brother finally went to join his ancestors. It had no spiritual cover and my mystic arrow had directly finished it off. I am so sorry, young man. It was your own sister who pushed me to do this. Because every time you sent her money or gifts, she came to tell me about it. You haven't seen anything yet? Your future and your son's future will soon be ruined. I'm telling you that. I have succeeded in my mission. It won't be long until I get home. I don't really know what's happening to me. I feel sad. I really hope nothing bad happened to my uncle. I can't wait for my mom to come and tell me that he's doing better. As I said, that's kind of what happened to my little brother. Oh, my neighboring condolences. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Neighbors, without lying to you. Neighbor, I think what happened to my brother is a bit strange. Do you think so? You know that things happen in life. I am not refusing, but it is not that way anyway. But how can you have a cardiac arrest like that in less than 24 hours? You are my neighbor. When he arrived from his trip, he was fine. He obviously had no illness. Frankly, I don't think that's normal at all. You know, neighbor, no one is safe from danger. Yeah, I know, but not my little brother, you know. What would my son says when he will learn that his uncle was no longer alive? How would I even tell my son that? I don't even know if I'll have the courage to tell him that. Courage, neighbor. It's going to be alright. Do not be discouraged and do not despair. Okay. Thanks for being there to assist me. It is normal. As usual, we will go to the hospitals to pray. And of course, Matthew, I so love praying for the sick every Saturday after 12 p.m. I like bringing the word of God back to hospitals and prisons. You surprise me. I too love talking about God so much to all those who have not yet received the Lord Jesus Christ in their lives. You know today, we will each take a tour of the two hospitals that we have left in this zone. After that, we will meet in front of the orphanage next door to pray for the orphans as well. Okay, Matthew. I hope Leonard's uncle is doing great and is feeling better now. As I was telling you, I came to pray a little for the sick and for people who are in despair. Yes, your head is telling me something. It seems to me that you have been here before. Exactly, madam. I've been here before. I suspected that. That's exactly what I was thinking in my head. In any case, your information is already stored on the computer. You can go join the sick in the waiting room and go pray for them. Okay, thank you very much madam. Well, as I was telling you, neighbor, I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom. Alright. See you later. Frankly. What am I going to do now? My life is over. The only person I was counting on and helping me had just left. I feel so sad and disoriented. I really don't know what to do right now. Hi madam, are you fine madam? Not very well sir. And you? For me it is very well. By the grace of God, what is happening to you madam? So tell me, Leonard. Have you heard from your uncle? No, you know. So far I still haven't had any news yet. But I think that everything will be fine for him and that is my hope. 
In any case, tonight I will know a little more about this case when my mom comes home from the hospital. Okay, Leonard. It's okay. Wow! With everything you've just told me, I really think there's an eel under the rock. In addition to what I just understood, he was the only person helping you in the family. That it's exactly. Evangelist, it's really not normal that he had a heart attack like that. That's exactly what I said to myself as well. What happened to your brother is really not normal. Well, I'm not going back to the neighbor anymore. I will go directly to my house, because I have already achieved what I came here for. Let's go, let's go. As I just told you, the Lord Jesus Christ is able to resurrect your brother. Oh really? Of course madam. Nothing is impossible for him. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ was still on earth, there was a man named Lazarus. This man was dead and even buried. It was four days ago. You know. Humanly speaking, it was impossible for everyone to imagine that this man could be resurrected. But can you guess what? The Lord Jesus Christ came to this place and raised him from the dead. And yes, madam. There was also a man named Janice Ross, who lost his daughter. And the Lord Jesus Christ had also resurrected her. Wow. I didn't know that Jesus Christ was that powerful. And yes, madam. Jesus is extremely powerful. Several disciples and prophets also raised the dead. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 12, the Lord Jesus Christ said this, Truly, truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and he will do greater works. It is no accident that the Lord has allowed you to meet me today. Yes, indeed, sir, I think it is not a coincidence. In any case, thank you for everything you have just said to me. That gives me great hope. You're welcome, madam. It is normal. You know what? I am an evangelist and my mission in life on this earth is to comfort souls and win them to Christ. With everything, I've just told you. Do you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ could resurrect your brother? Yes, I think so. Because if he could have done these miracles for all these people, he could also do them for me. Glory be to God. Now, I will go to the doctor to ask for permission to see your brother's body so I can pray for him. All right. It would give me great pleasure if he were to come back to life. I can't wait to see the power of the Lord Jesus Christ in action in my brother's life. Okay, madam. May God's will be done in your brother's life. Amen. See you later, madam. See you later, sir. But where is my neighbor? Please, doctor, let me go and pray for the lady's brother who was in the waiting room. I am so sorry. This person is no longer alive, and it is strictly forbidden to go and pray over someone's body in this hospital. Okay, I totally understand you, doctor. But you know, I used to pray for the sick in this hospital. I know that, but the one you want to pray for no longer lives. Funeral agents are already on their way to pick it up. Well, I have to go take care of my other patients. Since he won't let me pray for this man, I'll go do it in the waiting room. But I will never give up on going to pray for this man. It's like my neighbor was missing. So did they agree to let you pray for my brother? No but don't worry, I'll be praying from this waiting room and my God will act because he has no limits. Okay sir. Oh my God, my King, I bless you. I praise you and I celebrate you for your benefits Heavenly Father. I am putting the situation that is currently happening in this hospital into your hands. I have faith that you want to do something with this man's life. Just let your glory shine in this hospital so that people know that you are the one true and only God who raises the dead. I am sincerely coming before you to ask for mercy over the life of this young man. Please, Lord. Reignite the flame that was extinguished in the life of this body, restore its soul and fully restore that body to life through your power. Please, Lord, forgive him for all his sins and truly grant him the grace to be able to come back into this life, so that your glory can be mightily manifested in the lives of all the sick who are in this place in the Lord Jesus. The Bible declares that you are the first and the last and the living. You are dead and behold, you are alive. Centuries and centuries. You hold the key to death in the abode of the dead. Everything bows down in the heavens, and on earth, and below the earth. And all languages confess that you are Lord. 
I pray that any mystical arrow that touched this man would be uprooted and thrown into the barren lands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, remember the good deeds of this man and bring him back to life. Let life enter this man's body for the glory of your name alone. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Well, madam, I'm going to pray for the other patients. Okay, sir. But what is happening to me? Why do I feel so bad all of a sudden? As I told you, doctor, there is something new in the case of the man who had a cardiac arrest. Oh yeah, what happened again with him? Her heart started working again as if nothing had happened. He is currently in a deep sleep on the bed over there. Wow, what a miracle. But this man was declared dead a few hours ago. I can't believe you I would go and check it out myself in the room. Okay, doctor. But son, why didn't you call me before you came here? You know, mom, it's because I was a little worried at home. And uncle, is he better now? Yes, my son, your uncle is doing great now. He is currently sleeping in the room and will be joining you soon. Okay, thank you so much mom. Indeed, my son, the Lord is in control of the situation that is currently unfolding here. Okay mom. Ouch. My heart is starting to hurt. But what exactly is happening to me? I absolutely need to go see my doctor right away. As I was telling you, madam, it was with great joy that we had just noticed that your little brother's heart had started beating again. I am very surprised to see that he is now doing great. Oh hallelujah. Hosanna. May all the glory go to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Frankly, our Lord is so powerful. He answered the prayer of the evangelist who had just prayed for my little brother. Starting today, I will follow him for the rest of my life and I will testify to his greatness forever. Well done. In any case, it's inexplicable what had just happened here. I think he will be able to return with you in a few days. Okay, thank you very much doctor. Can I go see him, doctor? Yes, madam. You can go see him. It's really amazing what had just happened here. But how could our neighbor, who often dressed in red, have a heart attack like that? I am very surprised at what had just happened to him. Hopefully, they'll be able to resuscitate him once he's in the hospital. But what were they telling the firefighters? I would like to know what they were telling these first responders before they took him back to the hospital. Or God be praised evangelist. Life has returned to my little brother's body. Her heart is working again. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Let us give infinite glory to God. As I told you, dear woman, nothing is impossible with God. It really he who brought your brother back to life. I have no power, I am just a channel. In any case, I am very happy with the news that you have just shared with me. I think it is also time for him to give his life to Christ. Okay, thank you very much evangelists. I assure you, we are all ready to give our lives to Christ. Okay, perfect. If you allow me, I will still say a little hello to your little brother before returning home. Yes sir. He is alive, he is not dead. Jesus is really alive, he is not dead and he has risen from the dead. He is sitting on the right side of the Father. Let us praise him and the living. He is not dead. Jesus is really alive, he is not dead. I can't wait to tell my son the whole truth now. But first, I'll go see my little brother first. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ part 3 of this video is coming very soon. Brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it, and share it with those around you so that only one soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so 